what's in it? <clears throat> Here to do a book haul. So yesterday, the, I think this will be, I think this will be Tuesday's video. No, no, no. It'll be Wednesday's video because Tuesday is take out the trash. Um, so last week <laughs> I was, uh, um, out doing some running around shopping and I happened upon a book sale and it, I think it was their second or third day. And the deal was fill a bag for, um, $6. Well, I can fill a bag for $6. So, um, here's the first bag. <laughs> Uh, so this is an old book. I didn't get to look at anything very carefully. It was just sort of grab and go. So this one is from Syracuse University Library. It's imprinted right there from 1897. There's some illustrations in there. I always love Evangeline. Isn't it gorgeous? Just this little... See if we can find a date. The illustrations. Nice. No, no date. This is the forest primeval. So it's an epic poem. Um, there's actually, if, if you want to have the poem read to you while you're crafting one time, Look on YouTube for Evangeline, and um, there is um, readings, and it's it's quite a nice story. This one is called The Wild Olive. It, was, it belonged to Jenny Smith and Basil King. <laughs> so, 1910. The Bow of Orange Ribbon. Okay, that's pretty. 1886. So I think this has got to be something about uh, the Dutch settlers, maybe? got to be something about maybe New York, the um, settling of uh, New York um, by Dutch settlers. This one's called the Morning Glory Club. I'll go a little faster once I get through. Oh, ooh, look at that. Once we get through these uh, vintage books. Uh, 1907. 1907. Oh, there it is. It's a first edition. It's his first impression. Hmm. But I just thought that was a pretty cover. Jean d'Arc. Uh, 1914. This one looks brand new. Look at it. Well, the back doesn't, but look at the front cover and the and the end. And it says December 17th, 1910. Like, how is that even possible? It's never been read, probably. Anyway. I was kind of Stumped by that. Seahorses. Shreveport, Louisiana. Ah, 1925. There it says, 1925. I hope that was a fun cover too. This one's called Rosamond, and it's in uh, excellent condition cover-wise. I don't see any dates. Well, that's 
last one I got was called Berry and Co. Mm, 1920 is written there, so could oh yeah, November 1920. And the reason I got this one, because I thought, you know, I could put a great big berry, a big strawberry image on there, and that would be a really great, great cover. Okay, let's move those out of the road. So that was two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten books out of this first bunch. Um... <clears throat> I will never walk away from a copy of The Edwardian Lady. So if you've never seen this before, it's not it's not the same as um, uh, Nature Notes or uh, Diary of an Edwardian Lady, but it is the same uh, artist. And there is some illustrations from, like this one is from um, Diary of an Edwardian Lady. So there are some, but there's also great other great images in here, postcards, um, family photos. So it's also a really great. Um, like look, look at that. It's gorgeous. So it's also really great for um, cutting apart and turning into great little pieces of ephemera. So if you ever see one of these, pick it up. Just got this little golden guide book of trees. This one is called The Story of a Hundred Operas. So it has um, the name of the opera, the characters, what's happening in the different acts. So it's uh, all in um, alphabetical order. And I thought these would make some really great pages. I wonder what the date on this is. 1913. Oh, no. 1940. So originally it was 1913, but it was reprinted in 1940. I thought that would make some cute little pages. Or uh, English diaries and journals. I'm not sure what... I can't remember why I got this. Nineteen forty-eight. Oh, did I get that wrong? Nineteen forty-seven. Yes, I did get that wrong. I think it was probably the illustrations that I liked. Oh, there's Queen Victoria. Awesome. Samuel Peeps. So that's perhaps explains why I got that. The Joy of Songbirds, nineteen ninety one. Merry Christmas from. Bobby, I guess. Um, there was a section that had little illustrations. Oh, look at that. All the cardinals there. Well, I don't know if you can see that. All the little cardinals there. But it had, like, this title page, um, some little cards, some labels for advertising, some folk art. I mean, the pictures are nice, but here's some songbirds in art.
like that. Some other illustrations. Oh my gosh. He cannot stop. This one I got because uh, I thought it would make some great pages. Um, Nineteen seventy four. So there's a lot of black and white drawings. There's some, you know, illustrations of motifs, but a lot of black and white. I thought they would just make some interesting pages. This one I got because I love the cover. It's a big monster of a book too. The Old Wives Tale. Never heard of it. Since 1940. But there's some black and white illustrations in here. Oh, this one's colored. The criminal. Uh, see, I remember seeing these. <laughs> I don't remember seeing those other ones. But this was definitely uh, for the cover. I think this will make a great journal. This might be my day book for next year. Love it. Love it. thinking this might be a good journal a good cover for um, a book about roses and there's also pages in here with uh, illustrations of ephemera, isn't it? I do like you a lot. Um, I think this is the last one. Um, I love the cover. It says Easter 1905. Copyright 1904. There's some photos in here. The hollyhock bed. Um, unfortunately, the back cover is a nightmare. So, I mean, I could tear the fabric off and um, reuse the bookboard if it isn't. If it looks like there's some evidence of mold there. And, okay. That's it for the first bag. This I got at a what's the word? Estate sale. Um, I thought the illustrations were super cute. Uh, 1965. I 
then I got a few other little things at estate sales. So this one's the candy book. Um, this is the rose on the front is embossed. I don't see a date. Sugared almonds. Uh, this one had a bunch of stuff in it. So the paper clip tore this part off. I could probably glue that back together. It has the attachments. And at the back, it says, um, it says, oil all moving parts. This is a little, um, tag says remove this screw. And there was also this. So it, this would have been like under the uh, needle. So it says it was inspected, it was threaded and tested, it had a second ins inspection, and then a final inspection. So this is fabric that was stitched with the new, new machine. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's cool. This one I got at the yard sale, it was, for, it was free. She said, just take it if you think it's interesting. I do. It's probably 70s. Looks very 70s. This was in the basement of a house. This is the Franklin Mint Collector Society. Um, this wasn't too interesting to me, but at the front it had these pages. And I thought, oh, those are fun. And this one was also at a estate sale. And I love that illustration. The cover's kind of mangled, but this was definitely worth bringing home. I love it. I love it. Alright, let me pause and get the next box of books. So I thought I'd finish off the books that I got from um, estate sales. I cannot express how gorgeous this cover is. Clearly it's German. Look at those end papers. And it says 1893-94. Look at that. Uh, 1890. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, no. Oh. <gasps> Oh, I'm going to have to look this up. This one might be a valuable book. Winter. Oh. Beautiful. Oh. And you can feel the ink. It's incredible. Love it. Love. Oh, look at the kids. Mushrooms and ferns. Birds. 
So it's divided into seasons. This is summer. Got a mermaid. Look at the dogs and cats. Very nice. I love this. Oh, it has a little bookmark. These end papers are substantial too. They're very thick. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that. It's got something stuck on the front, but otherwise it was bound in leap. Leipzig. Leipzig? Leipzig? Beautiful. I, yes, I did pay $6 for this. And then when I got it home, when I looked at it this morning, I thought, I have had this book before and chopped it up for Christmas journals. So it has all these old advertisements and photos from magazines and toys, catalogs, cards, paper, and ribbon. I have definitely had this before and I love it. <laughs> Look at that. These are fantastic. I, I, I had to have it. I had to have it. Great book. Great book. Okay. Then um, back to the book. The library book sale. Um, I got into some sheet music and some of it is just pages because it was all torn apart and I thought oh heck I can use that in, in a journal. So some is just single pages. Um, German. Nice color. Jazz guitar. Jazz guitar. <laughs> That's what it is. So it's uh, the fingering for um, different chords. Okay, I figured it out. I'll have to show it to Doug. Uh, here's a um, music uh, um, manuscript book, basic chord dictionary. It's blank, but the pages are nice. I like that it's wire bound too. This this has got to have some age. It says it was fifty cents. Um, so I'm thinking based on her call um, her costume that's turn of the century. She still has hair, um, but it's I have no idea. Weird songs. The peanut song. Old Lang Syne. But the cover is uh, off of it. But look at this title page. Wouldn't that be awesome? It would definitely be awesome. Uh, almost a single page. Thought they might make nice. This is just a page. Might even be a photocopy. Yeah, Christmas, Christmas time is near. 
This is The Sound of Music, and I like that it's uh, landscape. We know all these songs. I should, I should pause on every page that has a title, and Catherine will have an earworm. <laughs> Climb every mountain. Come on, Catherine. You know you're singing along. I've never seen this. Halloween favorites. Interesting. Love the cover on this one. Nothing saying. This one. The Kamiki Ukulele Method. Another one I'll have to show to Doug. I thought that was a fun cover though. I wonder if there's a date. Nineteen seventeen. It says right there. I thought this cover was really sweet as well. Keyboard town. It has some <clears throat> gold stars. Look at that cover though. It's so sweet. Um, I think this is just a page. I thought this cover was really cute too. Dream of the Rosebud. I like the cover. This was just in the box. This is all uh, this is all handwritten for Hello Dolly and Fascination. Don't get around much anymore. Come rain or come shine. Bells. Maybe this came from a newspaper? Not sure. I liked this cover. It was just the cover. So I got uh, all that music stuff. I gotta show Doug that one and that one. And then, I've seen this book before and I've never bought it um, because it was always more money than I wanted to spend. Um, but it is nice and the fact that I could uh, get this as, look at the pen, the pen and ink, I could get this as part of a fill a bag. It, that made me happy. That's all these pen and ink drawings. I have to read it before I rip it apart. 1974. 1970. Oh, well, this is 1977. Copyright 1974. I got this one about dating photographs. So it gives you examples of, um, you know, how people would be posed, what clothes they might wear. Um, I 
thought that was interesting. This one, eminent, eminent Victorians, the illustrated edition. So I've had the book Eminent Victorians that was published in uh, 1918. So this this one they've added pictures to. Oh, there's Florence Nightingale. Yep. This one. Oh, Gibson Girls and Suffragettes. Suffragists. Here's the Gibson girls. Perceptions of women from 1900 to 1918. This one is Victorian Fashions, also gorgeous. I can see a lot of fussy cutting happening here. I feel it in my bones. This one's called Early Color Photography, and it just has um, a first exhibition of aerial navigation, 1909. She's got herself a little playhouse. I love that. Family of Acrobats, Orange Cellar. That's interesting. This one I got because I am going to do a fern journal. And uh, that's gonna be a good cover for my fern journal. Also has lots of pictures and drawings, 1971. Look at that. I'm super excited about that. Last but not least is this historic costumes and pictures. Um, I believe it's the same. Yeah, these two are both Dover publications. I believe. Yep. The problem with this one is they have them sideways. Like there's, you know, sort of Edwardian 
or not Edwardian, sorry, Georgian um, fashions there. So if I was going to use that, fold it in half, but on the other side, they're upside down. So. So lots of different cultures. It's just too bad that they're the other one, the other side's upside down. But it's nice. I like it anyway. So those are the books that I got. Um yesterday at the book sale. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you thought this was interesting. I hope you saw a couple titles that you're going to be um, looking for when you're out searching for book fodder for your journaling. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.